Welcome to the lecture series on artificial neural networks and reinforcement learning. This video series covers policy gradient methods. And in this very first video, we look at a couple of first steps towards deep reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is about learning without a supervisor, learning without labeled data. If you think of a human tennis player, player that learns a new serve, well, the only thing he has is the feedback, the visual feedback from where the ball lands. The little boy that learns the piano, well, the only feedback it ha he has is the feedback from how it sounds. Changes happen based on the feedback in the brain and overall learning in humans, in animals, is based on the feedback we get from the reward or from the value of an action. The reward can be explicit, such as a goodie for a dog. It can be more indirect, like a success feeling, like a compliment. And reward is rare. It often comes only after long action sequence. For example, if you think of the game of chess, where you have won the game, you only know at the at the end. Same true for the game of Go. Now, these artificial agents based on neural networks can be trained to learn chess to a level where they beat the best players. They are able to learn to play Go with strategies that enable the artificial neural networks to beat master players. Now, how do you train the network so that it learns the Q values. A simple way, if you want to play in the context of Sarsa, is that you say, I use an error function that compares the reward plus gamma times, gamma is the discount factor, the Q value of the next state with the Q value of the current state. So the state is the set of the inputs, the Q values, A prime, are the different actions in the output layer. So this was my little detour to how you apply temporal difference methods such as n-step SARSA, SARSA with eligibility trace, such as Q-learning, such as TD of lambda, again, lambda for eligibility trace. How do you apply this for deep neural networks? Whatever you do, the V values or the Q values are the central quantities. You only need to learn the V values or Q values. And once you have done this, the actions are taken based on some policy that exploits the Q values or V values. For example, the softmax policy, the greedy policy, epsilon greedy policy, and so forth. Now, the aim of this lecture is why should we learn first Q values and then derive actions from these? Well, let's try to learn the actions directly. And then there is no need for estimations of Q values. And this is the idea of policy gradient. So the lecture today will focus on policy gradient methods that don't need a Q value estimation. And as an outlook towards the end of the lecture, we will also give a first glimpse into deep reinforcement learning. Now, policy gradient methods are standard tools and they are very well covered in the nice textbook on, of Sutton and Barto on reinforcement learning. The relevant chapter would be chapter 13.